In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite little bomb concepts out of the Gun Bunch formation in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are talking specifically about the Washington football team offensive playbook. We'll be talking about uh, pretty much what I would argue to be the best bomb out of the Gun Bunch formation, and that is the Bunch Trail. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't have the Patreon membership yet, I would really encourage you to get that and the reason why is because that's how you're going to get access to all of my ebooks so if you're not a patreon member yet and you want to take your madden game to the next level i've got a full ebook in there on the gun bunch i've got full ebooks in there on 12 other uh, offensive and defensive ebooks so if you want to check all that out you can sign up for the patreon today for just 10 bucks there's a link in the description below if you're interested in doing that so uh, bunch trail uh, i want to talk about the different coverage shows you're going to get the first coverage show that is the most popular uh, to utilize this bomb against is the cover two. So as you can see here, I'm in just kind of a basic cover two. Now I'm not gonna make any adjustments to this play and what you're gonna notice here is that this post, if you pass lead that up and to the right, you're gonna see that it is going to get over the top of the cover two shell for an easy bomb, if not a one play score. Now um, the next coverage shell that I wanna hit on is the uh, cover three. And uh, the cover three is something that I think a lot of people are utilizing against Gun Bunch. What you're going to do with this play here, notice I'm on the short side. As soon as that post route crosses the face of this guy, um, I don't know why I got matched there. So let me, let me run that back and show that that was kind of fluky. Um, that typically doesn't happen. So again, we're just going to go down to the Mike Blitz three. And we're going to set up kind of the meta uh, double Mabel uh, coverage. And what you should notice with this post is whenever he crosses the middle of the field, crosses that safety, you're gonna pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, you can kind of cut that off. And if you have deep out elite, for the most part, that's gonna be a pretty consistent little bomb uh, for you. I'm gonna show it to you against another cover three uh, style defense here. And what you're gonna see again is, you know, this post, again, no adjustments. I'm not making any adjustments at all. I just come out, snap the ball. And what you're going to see is this post. This uh, specific post from Bunch Trail, it doesn't look that special. It looks like just kind of your standard skinny post. But I will say what I've noticed with this play is this post route runs a lot deeper than a standard hot routed skinny post. Okay, that's just my opinion. But I think that I'm pretty accurate on that. Now, uh, let's say, for example, that they run a cover zero uh, style of coverage. Maybe they're sending some pressure or maybe they're just trying to cover some of your underneath stuff. Uh, what you're going to notice is this post. Mike Evans has the deep out elite ability. You see that it lights up there. And then I can lob that over the top of the cover zero. As you can see, if you put route tech on that player, uh, for the most part, that's going to be pretty consistent. Um, let's talk about match coverage for just a second. Match coverage is a little bit different um, just in terms of how it's going to play. But what you'll see for the most part with this match concept here is, again, same kind of thing. Once he kind of splits the safeties, you can hit that post over the top. So, so far we've covered uh, cover two, cover three, cover four match. Um, let me talk real quickly about cover three with two deep halves. So this is cover three. I'm going to put two deep halves on the outside. Again, I'm not making any adjustments to this play. I'm just snapping the ball. And, again, once he crosses that face, you see that the two deep halves – does a pretty good job okay so you might not want to use this play if they have the deep halves on the field um and then the last coverage that i want to talk about this play for is the cover four drop now the cover four drop to me is very difficult to bomb this year um the inside quarters just in my opinion played pretty well against the bombs but they're not very good against crossing routes but if you wait on this to cross that safety right there you can kind of throw this ball and again, notice that we have the deep out elite ability. You see, you're going to get those animations on the sideline. That is, I think, is really, really powerful uh, for beating the cover four drop. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly point out that you can do to that will help a little bit with the cover four drop is instead of God or uh, Miller running the corner, put Godwin on the corner. So you need like a hot route master or slot apprentice, and then just motion him out against this cover four. And what I've found is you'll see here that the safety on the right side he doesn't get back so it's just me having to it's basically just me having to get over the top of that uh, quarter zone so i'll show you one more time against cover four drop again cover four drop to me is the hardest one to get um, but what i would do is put miller on a slant god went on a corner 
And then, you know, again, if you want to block the running back just to give you some extra time, you certainly can do that. And what you'll see is we get this kind of manipulation here, and then you're going to pass me that right. And as you can see, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird little swerve. But for the most part, I will say it's very difficult to click on and pick that ball. So that is something that you can use. And the cool part about this, like I said, it bombs everything. Um, the one thing that it doesn't do very good against is those deep halves if they're off coverage. Let me show you real quick the press coverage of a deep half. So I'm in Mike Butts 3, and then I put both of those, uh, I put both of those guys in deep halves. And I just want to show you this concept. So you've got your slant there. I love that slant. And you'll see against this deep half, you got a little bit more of a chance. Um, it's not quite as good against the deep half. I would say that probably does the best out of every coverage. Um, but for the most part, if they're just coming out and they're just running cover three every time, uh, this is a really good concept. Again, if you wanted to make some adjustments, what I would do is put the running back on an out route, slant Scotty Miller, uh, put Godwin on a corner, and then I would block my tight end personally so it looks something like this. And then what you should see here is this corner should pull the third, and then you're just going to pass lead that up and to the right. If you ever get in a situation like that, just click on aggressive, catch that, and you'll be surprised at how many of those you'll come down with. Just with the way the game plays right now, um, it's just really, really, really consistent against um, those aggressive catches. They're just really good, especially if you have like a big body uh, receiver out there you'll find that you're going to catch a lot of those. And again, I'm not hot route mastery in the post. This is the bunch trail post. And I just think that it's, I just think that the way that that route works, that bunch trail post, just the way that it works, it's a little bit better than if you were to use a hot route master post. That's just my opinion. Um, but again, I'm going to show it to you one more time and we'll block the tight end. So you see, this is kind of the setup that I kind of landed on. If you want to wheel this guy, you can, if you want to block the guy, you can uh, but what you should see here is we're just going to pass like that up against cover two. And as you can see, it's just an absolute laser. So uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my bunch guide and you want to get the rest of the stuff over at the Patreon, be sure to sign up for the Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you'd like. There's a link in the description below. So if you're interested in joining the Patreon membership to get all those eBooks, uh, head on down to the description and click that link in the description that I put down there for the Patreon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.